must be uh, balanced. Uh, in order to simplify the study of balanced three-phase system, we can take uh, we simplify system into a single phase and simplify it into a simpler per phase uh, circuit. For example, in this circuit, this is the first phase. We can or the third phase, no problem. We can take this line and load as as a single phase circuit like this and apply simple rules of uh, single phase circuits however when we have a y, uh, delta connected uh, delta connected load for example we can uh, we must transfer it to y then we do uh, our study and we have seen uh, some examples concerning this. Uh, the first example was uh, a delta a y, a y connected source with the y connected load. And the second example, we have seen uh, the solution of this example. So it's simple because we have taken uh, one phase and we have we have used the. Uh, the, the the phase voltage then we have seen another example with a uh, delta connected load so we uh, after since the load is uh, uh, is delta connected must be converted into y connection so the load will be divided by three so the per phase impedance in y connection equals to the to the per phase uh, impedance of delta connection over three. Then we do our uh, calculation. However, when we calculate the voltage, we must multiply it again by square root of three because the original voltage was uh, three uh, delta connected. Then we calculate the power we have seen that we can calculate the power with five with phase quantities or with line quantities so if we have phase voltage and phase current we use three multiplied by phase voltage phase current cosine theta and if we work with line quantities we use square root of three uh, line voltage and phase voltage so today we are going to see another uh, another point which called uh, one line diagram. This is uh, just uh, some kind of uh, representation. Since the three phases of a balanced system are basically the same, they can be sketched in simple form with a single line representing all three phases. Uh, three phases. One line diagram typically typically include all the major components of the power system. So if you have sources, uh, transformers, loads. So they, mean they can be represented in one line diagram. A simple power system, for example, if we have this power system, we have a source and we have two loads uh, connected in parallel, of course. One is delta connected and the second one is Y connected. The one line, dia the one line diagram will be like this. So this is a simplified representation. This is the source, the generator. And this is uh, the first load, which is delta connected. And this is the second load, which is Y connected. If we have, for example, transformer, it will be represented like this with two circuits. Okay, so this is the one line uh, diagram. And uh, this one is the last point in our chapter. We still have another points, but due to time and you have taken a lot of things, I decided to not uh, to consider them. While, in fact, they are important, for example, the unbalanced uh, three-phase loads, I give it to you as an additional, uh, additional recitation. You will have, you will find the, uh, a method in the additional recitation how we can deal with unbalanced systems and the method to solve to solve so uh, the, the method of uh, perfect circuit analysis 
is not valuable for unbalanced system. We have another method. I have given it to you in the additional recitation. However, it will not be considered or included in exam or something because it's a complicated and need more practice and need more time, which we haven't. Also, another point, which is the power factor correction. So the power factor correction is uh, how we can, uh, for example, reduce the reactive power of a power system. To reduce a reactive power uh, in a power system, we uh, place parallel capacitors. So this, uh, this point uh, talk about how much, for example, capacitors, amount of capacitors we must add in the power system, for example, to get a unity power factor to, for example, to reach uh, a such value of uh, active or reactive power. You can find uh, this in which I call additional, additional uh, recitation. Okay, so the first point is talked about the unbalanced uh, three-phase load, and this is the method how we can deal with the unbalanced. And we, you have an example, solved example. Also the method uh, using uh, matrices to uh, solve, uh, resolve this method. I have given it to you here, uh, Kramer rule also. The second point here talk about the power factor correction. Okay, and you have an, an example. But this for, for uh, so here you can see how we can get a new power factor by adding capacitors. But here, uh, just for extra information, maybe 